Hi everyone, my name is John, and today I want to tell you all about the first time I left my body. Now this happened when I was 13, which was 22 years ago, and to this day is, is still the most important experience of my entire life. Now I hope that this story will inspire you, and if you are interested in these types of things, I highly encourage you to pick up a daily meditation practice, because I promise that that will lead you to all the experiences you're looking for. Okay, so real quick before we jump into this story, I do want to tell you a little bit about my spiritual history because this out-of-body experience was unlike anything I ever even knew was possible, but in a lot of ways it didn't totally come out of nowhere. So it's important that you understand where I was coming from and the types of experiences I had had up to this point uh, being 13 years old. So. For my entire life, I've always just felt deeply this knowing that I am a soul, I am an eternal being, infinite potential, I'm here to experience freedom. That's who I am, that's what I feel, that's what I know, and I know that that's true for all of us. So there's always been this spiritual component to my life, and who I am and how I relate to the world. And in addition to that, when I was a child, up until about the time I was 10 years old, I had this very cool ability where at night when I lay down in bed, I got to choose what I wanted to dream about. And I don't know how I had this or why it worked or what made me think I could do it, but every night I would just lay there and just decide, I'm gonna dream about this, I'm gonna meet up with this person, we're gonna go here, then we're gonna go there, then we're gonna do this. And I had, I had full, full authorship of my dreams. So regardless of how my days went, any leftover desires or things I wanted to experience at the end of each day, I got to experience fully in my dreams every single night. So I just wanted to include that so you know that I've always felt that I'm a spiritual being and I've spent a great deal of time exploring the dream world. Okay, so for this actual experience, the first time I left my body, I was with two of my friends and we went to go stay at my friend's dad's house and we had never been there before. So we get a ride over there, we get dropped off, it's already totally dark out, and we go immediately inside for dinner. So we meet his dad, we have dinner, later on we're hanging out in our room, and one of my friends pulls out this book, and I have no idea what book it was, but that book was about to change my life, and totally rock my world. So we're flipping through this book, some kind of spiritual text, and in it we come across this picture of a man floating above his own body. And so there's his body in bed, eyes closed, and then there's him up above, eyes open, smiling, and then there's this like little curvy cord connecting them. So we start reading all these paragraphs around that, and it's talking about how, you know, at a certain point, some people are able to project their consciousness into this energy body and travel around various dimensions. And so being 13 year olds and reading this, we're immediately, are you serious? This is the most amazing thing I've ever heard in my life. We gotta try this right now. And thankfully, my friends were amazing and they were like, oh yeah, we're definitely trying this. This is happening now. So we turn off the lights, we all lay down, I cover myself with a blanket. And luckily, by the grace of God or my soul or whoever, I just intuitively started imagining myself being about six or 12 inches above my body. So I'm just sitting there, I'm putting everything I've got and I'm fired up with so much desire and enthusiasm and I am concentrating as hard as I possibly can, just creating the feeling of already being, you know, several inches or a foot above my body. And I'm imagining my arms there and I'm feeling my legs there and I'm feeling my face and everything and I'm just really, creating the experience of already being there. And within a couple of minutes, I was out. I was out of my physical body and I knew I was out because I felt different. I felt so sparkly and alive and I felt better than I've ever felt before. And I was floating and I was floating up and up and up until I hit the ceiling and I hit the ceiling and if you've ever experienced a lucid dream or, or where you're flying around and you come up onto a solid surface, you know that it feels like a membrane. So 
it was resisting me, but it was stretchy. There was some give and take and some push pull. And I kept pushing, I kept pushing, and then I popped up through the ceiling. And now here I am floating above the house in this neighborhood, which I had never before seen in my life. So immediately it's time to start exploring. So I start floating up and I'm going over to the side and I'm seeing all kinds of things. I'm seeing all these cars everywhere. I'm seeing all the houses. I see a golf course that I didn't know about. I see this secret little path behind these bushes to the golf course. And at the end of the street, way further down, there's a medical clinic and there's all these nice, tasty, tasty staircases and handrails, which were of particular interest to me at that time because I was skateboarding all day long at that age. So I'm seeing all these things for the first time and in addition to this, I'm memorizing all of the license plates on every single car that I'm seeing. And <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but at that age, I had this freak ability where I instantly memorized every license plate I saw and I would remember them. I would know, I would see a car driving around that I had previously seen in their driveway somewhere. I would know, oh, exactly where the person lived. And I would know, oh, there's that car. Oh, they live over on this site. I had this freak thing where I memorized license plates instantly without trying. And luckily that came in super handy because I was that was gonna allow me to verify this experience in just a moment. So after what feels like a few minutes, I start getting sucked back to my body. And there's this like whooshing, sh swirling, like I'm in a stream of wind and I can't fight it, I can't resist it. I don't even know what's going on. I've never done anything like this in my life. So all of a sudden, sh I pop back into my body and I am psyched. And I immediately just yell out like, I did it, I did it. Dude, we gotta go outside. So we get our stuff, we get our shoes on, we go outside and I want to start verifying all the things that I had discovered. So I'm seeing all these houses, all these cars, all the license plates perfectly, exactly as I have seen them. The golf course, that was real. The path to the golf course, it was there. I knew exactly where it was. I was showing my friend things about his dad's neighborhood, which he knew for a fact I had never seen before. And so I'm leading us all around and we're just going around verifying everything and I'm seeing everything in this really, really miraculous way as if everything I'm seeing is so hard to believe. But that was it. I was very, very blessed to get out on my very first try. And I can't claim that that was me. There's no way I could say like, I'm so dope, I'm such a badass, I got out first try. There was a lot of, there had to have been a lot of intervening on my behalf. And so for the next 10 years after that, every single night I tried again. And I had hundreds and hundreds of successful attempts, but also lots of, lots of failed attempts. And there's various reasons for that, uh, which I could get into in another video. But if you've ever tried leaving your body, it's, it can be kind of a tricky thing. All right, so I don't wanna make this a uh, long video. I'll do plenty more videos talking about this, all the things I've learned and the various experiences that I've had. But if this is something that interests you and you wanna know more about it, for sure, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Have you ever done this? Do you wanna do it? Do you think it's made up or do you know it's real? And if you are interested in it, I would highly recommend you pick up the book Astral Dynamics. Now, this book came out quite a while ago now and I don't know if maybe there's some newer versions or better options at this point, but I guarantee absolutely everything you need to know to have a successful out-of-body experience is in that book, Astral Dynamics. I promise you it's all there. So I just wanna wish you the best of luck on your journey. Do let me know what you're interested in, and what you wanna hear more about. I'm happy to share my experience. The other thing I wanna say that I can't stress enough, the value of a daily meditation practice and don't do anything super complicated. Just learn a simple practice where you're going deep into feeling these deeper layers of who you are. Feeling your body, then feeling the energy below that. Feeling the emotion, watching your thoughts, watching your feelings. Just immersing yourself in that experience, getting out of your thoughts and into the experience of who you are. That is gonna lead you on the path 
to all kinds of amazing and unbelievable experiences and leaving your body, it will just be one of them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video exciting and inspiring and I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful night. Peace.